Okay, this is our very first night on vacation. We did our first stop in uh, Shenandoah. And this is Big Meadows Campground. We've got our REI tent set up here. All the comforts of home, not quite. Got a little campfire started. They didn't have wood because they're redoing the shower house, so they were Kind enough to let us scrounge for it, so we found some dead wood in the uh, in the woods. The smoke's getting to jail. Of course, she's trying to get the fire going. I can't figure out what. Smoke plume. So I've got my cup of tea there, and we've got our five-gallon jug of water, our candelier, and we have our trusty Coleman stove over here so we'll let you know how it goes okay this is our first morning camping our second day of vacation we're gonna do the boiling bag um, breakfast we've had our tea chill over there looking for our breakfast last night was pretty comfortable with the exception of we had a thunderstorm pretty violent one the tent held up just perfectly no leaks nothing um, it was very comfortable. Didn't get a lot of sleep because there's a group over there. I guess they're Middle Eastern and after it stopped raining there was some chanting going on for a little while but after that quieted down I was able to fall asleep. We were both able to fall asleep. We are sleeping on that Intex mattress which I'll do a review of which is actually pretty neat. Um, but otherwise very comfortable. Not as comfortable as a camper but comfortable nonetheless so today we're gonna head down the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway we hope to make it out of the park and camp somewhere where we're gonna stay a couple days You're in the right hiking shoes. Okay, if you can hear me, here we are in Meadows of Dan, and I do highly recommend this little restaurant. The food is very simple, but it's also very cheap, and it's actually very good for what you get. Everything tastes very good, even though they don't have a wide selection. Okay, here Jill is tending our campfire. We're in uh, Rocky Knob, Virginia. Tomorrow we think we're going to make it to North Carolina.
Okay, here we are at Linville Falls. And since we got here a little earlier tonight, we have a little breathing room. Let me show you our setup. So here's our little Coleman stove running on 20 year old fuel, Coleman fuel. We've got our water there. Jill's got her Emo or Eno hammock set up. I can't remember which. <coughs> here's our Kingdom Fort tent. This is set up. We have a tech garage for it, but we don't have it set up. Let me show you this feature here. Okay, I bought an Intex mattress. This is the next size, smaller than a queen. It's actually pretty cool. You plug it into the electricity. There's the cord there. And you use that pump there to inflate and deflate it. And since most of the campsites we're staying at do not have electric, I brought my Black & Decker Electromate 400, which has an AC uh, inverter on it. And we, we turn this on, we plug it in, uh, the mattress into it, and that's what we use to power this pump to both inflate it and deflate it. And then while we're driving on the Blue Ridge Parkway, I charge this via the 12 volt cigarette lighter. So it's a pretty good setup there. And it's very comfortable and I'm still loving this tent. Plenty of room in here. Plenty of room to relax. We've got a nice site here. In the woods here. Very comfortable. You know that we hiked today? Okay. okay, we were going to stay here another night, um, but we've decided that we really want hot showers. So we're going to go to Mount Pascal. We're going to pack up. We're going to do some exploring around here locally. We're going to look at uh, Linville Falls. You're not going too fast.
This side's more impressive. Okay, here we are at Mount Mitchell. I think we're at mile marker 370 along the Blue Ridge Parkway, and we are currently, I think, at around 5,100 feet altitude. Okay, I personally wouldn't recommend Mount Mitchell State Park restaurant. Um, Joe had the eight ounce steak, which was pretty good. I had a mushroom Swiss burger without the bun, and the burger tasted like something you get in a high school cafeteria. And this is the second time we've been here, and I remember we had a similar experience the first time. I thought the people were really nice though. What's that? I thought the people were really nice though. Yeah, I agree. They were really nice. The people were nice. cross it's kind of a neat little town it's down here right yeah. okay I think we've driven as far south as we're going to we're at somewhere around mile 420 something like that on the Blue Ridge Parkway we're at Mount Pascal campground in site D11 this by far is the nicest campground we have seen on this trip. I just really like this spot. It's very clean, has a remote feel, even though there's plenty of campgrounds around it or camp spots around it. It's surrounded by these tall rhododendrons. It just is really, really neat. The tent pad is nice and flat. Very new looking, filled with gravel, it's flat. Got a little trail back here to the comfort station. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. 
We've got our bed set up in there and our air bed and we're ready to go. I am so glad I brought the Black and Decker Black and Decker Electromate, excuse me. That is really coming handy. We're at something like 6,000 feet altitude right now, which is quite a bit above where we normally live in Maryland, which is like 800. Um, hopefully it'll be a nice night. I know as you hear in the background, it's the Blue Ridge Parkway, but after night, it should quiet down. It's not a busy road at all. We've got our bear locker over here. And we've got our nice deep fire pit with our grill. And it's just a really nice spot. I'm really happy with this. So we'll see how the first night goes. And even around the car slot here, it's really nice. We've got these little delicate flowers. Might not seem like much to you. Okay, here we are at the Mount Pisgah Lodge, and we're gonna go up to the restaurant and maybe get a bite to eat since we got here late. No, I don't think we ate here. Maybe we thought about it. it smells good. Good morning. It is our first day in Pascal Mountain. Um, last night was really nice. Uh, fog rolled in and it condensed on all the trees and all the surfaces. We stayed nice and dry in the tent. And it's not that cold. It's not as cold as I thought it was. It's actually kind of nice. So we're going to make our coffee and our tea and perhaps we'll have bowl and bag breakfast. I don't think we'll break eggs and make breakfast. I frankly wouldn't know where we'd clean up at, but uh, this is our first morning and we had a nice night. One thing I forgot to mention is when we stayed in Rocky Knob, there was like seven fighter jets that flew directly over our camp. I'd say 200 to 400 feet. It was really quite deafening. And it was cool at first, but then they just kept doing it. And I thought, oh no, it's gonna happen all night. But no, it stopped about 10 o'clock. So it was kind of a unique experience. Also, we had the chance uh, to take showers last night, which is nice. How do you feel, Jill? How was your night? Actually, it was pretty good. Either the bed's getting more comfortable or I'm getting used to it. Here we are in Pascal National Forest. No. No, I smell it. Feel it bounce. Whoa. So 
something wrong with my balance. That's neat. Okay, here we are in Brevard, North Carolina. We just thought we'd check out the town, see what it was like. Jill's heard it's cool. We'll see. What'd you say? Oh, I thought I smelled barbecue. Hey, Lulu. Okay, here we are at Cascade Lake, which is a place we stayed year or two ago but we didn't get a chance to take advantage of it because Joe was sick. We stayed in one of those spots right by the lake right over there to my left and supposedly there's some falls that we can paddle to and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to take You think it's moving that way? It actually looks like it's moving this way. Well, that cloud though. Okay, we intended to stay in this site for two days, but unfortunately, when we got back, after putting our two days worth of money in the envelope, we've got a tag on there that it's reserved. So we had to pack up and move on out. So it's not that big a deal, I guess, but we would have liked to stay an extra night. Okay, after getting kicked out of our camping spot in Mount Pascal, we decided we're just gonna stay in a hotel in Blowing Rock um, because there's no good campgrounds that we know of from on our way from here to, in that direction. So we're just gonna stay at a Holiday Inn Express in Blowing Rock, which is a town we were in uh, the last time we were on the Blue Ridge Parkway and we wanted to check out but we didn't have the time. Okay, we decided to take some time to walk around Blowing Rock, which is uh, something we wanted to do a year or two ago. Um, we're going to walk around. Unfortunately, looks like we're a little early for the shops to be open, but we'll check it out anyway. What a neat little town. These are apartments. I don't know if it's a little place for people to stay. That'd be nice. Again, here we are in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. This place must be open too. Wanna go in? Might as well go in. Good, how are you? 
village cafe is open. Uh, what is that? I don't know. Let's walk around this way tomorrow. This row on Main Street was excellent. It wasn't that expensive and it was really, really good food and the service was great. <laughs> 